Hello, 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 and welcome to Dead Beats. How's everyone doing today? Happy Thursday. Ah, man, so excited. You know how I love myself some D&D, and I love myself some Dead Beats. So, yeah, we're, we're doing it as part of our uh, Thursday double D&D day. Good God. I must be insane to do two D&D games at the same time. But let me tell you right now, it's worth it, baby. It's worth it. It's worth it, baby. Uh, let me go ahead and unmute and let's go ahead and get these fine folks started. Unmuting. And I think... Make sure the scene's set. Oh, the scene is set. It's beautiful. Hello, everyone. Just don't tell Brett. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, hello, hello. Oh, no. Hello. Hey. hey, was there a <laughs> plot going on here? Hey, hey, hey. What? But Never. Us? No. Never. No. Never. I see. Hmm. All right. Okay. Um, anyways, uh, how's everyone doing today? How's everyone's so, so weekend? Good. So, so good. good buddy. So good. So good. I, would, I would really like the entire session just to be you all extremely apprehensive for the next three hours. It's just be oh, like, apprehensive? Hey, hey, apprehensive. Don't worry, I'm already there. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you talking about? Apprehensive. What are you talking about? We're just so. funky little dudes, man. We didn't do anything. Nothing at all! <laughs> Did you say we're funky little dudes? Yeah, we're funky little dudes! <laughs> That's right. That's funky. the new name of the show. <laughs> yeah, funky little dudes. <laughs> That's a 10 million hit YouTube video right there. Funky little dudes from Adult Swim. I can't wait. I can't at wait. At some point, I want to do a campaign in your world. The fact you said bards are like musicians. Yeah. Where you make a band. So there's just five, like a barbarian who's actually a drum player, like yeah, a yeah, bard yeah. who's the singer and stuff. It'd be so fun. That's the, the barbarian. The barbarians. The barbarians. Oh my God. <laughs> we got to do a heavy metal oh, band. That's no. adventurous. Honestly, that sounds amazing. I, I would I would totally be down if you guys ever want to, like, if you ever want to collab, collab that together, Joe. And like make a yeah. do a do a do a collab D and D games about bards and barbarians. We could call Sounds it Bard badass. Bard and Barbarian. <laughs> That'd actually be a lot of fun. I'd be down. Uh yes, we'll talk uh we'll talk later because I I'm fucking down. Um yeah, so anyways, let's uh you guys wanna go ahead and get started? Get some or let me get those vibes going. Ah, oh, there we go. I had a little little burp, a little burp in me. Uh, last we left off, you guys arrived in the city of Jotun. Uh, you are currently on the case looking for a killer or copycat killer of, uh, of a serial killer that had been m murdering a bunch of individuals. I was, I was afraid I was going to say kill for a fourth or fifth time. Um, 20 years ago, and, uh, another killing has happened to the same... <coughs> Excuse me, scratchy throat. Hmm. My gosh, what the heck? Um, another killing has happened uh, recently after a 20 year lapse in time. And uh, you guys arrived at the uh, quote unquote scene of the crime in the city of Jotun over in the Northern Ishtar, um, in the over the Northern Ish Ishtar arc. So as uh, you guys arrive in Jotun, you spent uh, the day kind of like recuperating uh, because you guys were all cramped in the back of someone's cargo bay. I'm spending a little time over in the uh, motel, kind of talking about things, learning a little bit about each other, uh, getting some things together before finally meeting with a point of contact uh, with the sort of quote-unquote crime fat family of this region, uh, the Lamontos. Make sure, make sure I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, the Lamonto, the Lamonto, quote unquote, mob family. Um, they simply just call themselves the Lamonto family, um, but they are the source of um, 
the underworld, I suppose, like sort of like the 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 underworld dealings in the northern Ishtar region. And so you've arrived over at this bar here. Oh, excuse me. Taking a look at the maps here. Got so many notes now, so I have to like I have to reference stuff now. It's great. Um yeah, the west uh over at the at the West Grand Bar, uh, where a point of contact with the Lamonto family is said to be, or at least from Eli's uh, recollection. So I believe the plan was, just to recap, uh, Eli is supposed to be coming in with, uh, quote unquote, his muscle. Is that correct? I believe that's the ploy you guys were going for? Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I, I just... I just sit there and look big, I think, yeah. is, is my role here. I'm the drug dealer. <laughs> Hello, I'm the drug dealer. I have drugs. Yes, Summer, always the always playing drug dealer character. That's my out. That's my, that's my, that's my shtick here. <laughs> I'm the drug dealer. Uh, and Logan is waiting outside, holding a cup of coffee, I'm assuming steaming styrofoam cup of coffee waiting outside in case anything were to yeah, uh, cross the street looking inconspicuous okay perfect he screams out from across the street i am inconspicuous, I am inconspicuous. <laughs> acting inconspicuous <laughs> so, as he, <laughs> so as uh as you all walk into the bar ready for some sort of conversation some how exactly you're going to be encountering the Monta family. This well-dressed individual stepped up from the booth, locking eyes onto Eli immediately. And uh he came up and uh gave him gave him a gave him a nice embrace, uh sort of like a, a hug. And just a follow what did, did 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 he say something last session to you guys? I'm trying to remember, like he said like he apologized. There he goes. I'm sorry. That's what it was. Yeah. So yeah, he looked over at you and he just goes, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, Eli. And it kind of gives him, gives you a, a pat on the shoulders and looks up at you. And that's where we will continue the campaign. So um, this individual came up apologizing to Eli, well-dressed individual. What's everyone's reaction? Specifically, what's Eli's reaction right now? Eli is currently stone-faced. He's trying to... Trying to size him up, trying to figure out exactly... Uh, the apology tells him a lot. The embrace mm -hmm. tells him a lot. Mm -hmm. So, um... After a beat, Eli will just respond with a silent nod. And uh, he will then invite you over to the booth. As he turns around and walks over, inviting you and your, uh, I guess your 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 group, your group of uh, protectors. And uh, as you're walking back, he see he'll just say, "I see you're you're rolling with another group now, Eli. That's good. That's real good." He'll offer the booth. For anyone who wishes to sit down. Make sure everyone gets themselves nice and comfortable. Um, I think to like sell my role in this group, I think Dash would like sort of sit away from the conversation. Like that's not his job to listen, mm -hmm. right? It's his job to like watch out for trouble. So I think uh -huh. uh, he'll, yeah, he'll sit like more over toward this corner. Like not my business. Mm hmm. <laughs> Definitely um, sitting with feet up on the table. <laughs> Victor's gonna bow to Eli and go, Can I get you anything from the bar, sir? Uh, what the hell? Uh, what, what would be the traditional, I guess the equivalent of like a whiskey here? Mm, okay, I'm going to think that. Yeah, I think it would just be a sort of like a, an Ishtarian rum. Uh, northern Northern Ishtar used to be 
Or sorry, this is Southern Ishtar. My apologies. So over in the Southern Ishtar region. Yeah, that's where you guys are. Oh my gosh. I said Northern Ishtar before. Yeah, you're in Southern, Southern Ishtar. Um, Southern Ishtar used to be uh, very tropical once upon a time. Um, it was known for its jungles and swamps, but ever since the shattering took place um, over a thousand years ago, uh, Southern Ishtar has drastically transformed into the snowscape that you see before. Um, but still, uh, the task of creating <clears throat> Ishtarian rum uh, is still available and has been a staple of Southern Ishtar for thousands upon thousands of years because it's so simple to make. So an Ishtarian rum would be your your standard default drink uh, as far as like brown liquors go. Round of, round of rum. Southern Ishtar. Mm. He'll nod. Coming up. He's going to go to the bar and order it for him. Okay. As you go over to the bar. Oh, uh, it's there. My yeah, bad. the bar's over here. Good. <laughs> I was like, not zoomed in that out enough. <laughs> oh, no, it's all good. Uh, I don't make my character not like, locked a grid. Yeah, so when you move your character around, hold the shift key. And that'll allow you to go off off grid, but you have to make sure you hold the ship key after you select your token Got before it. you drop. It's a little it's a little odd, but yeah, that's that's the way that I found how to do it. Um, so uh, this man will look over to you. Uh, you are familiar with him as he has been a point of contact for you. Even because seven years ago is when you were arrested. Is that correct? Yes. Um, his name is Dian. Uh, he is uh, effectively, uh, the, the, an unofficial rank is face of the family. He's essentially the one that does all the talking with people, whether dealings are to be made or to have conversations with the local defense force or with prots in general. He's the, the diplomatic fate. He's one of the diplomatic faces of the family. And so DN, um, actually I will type out. His name right here. If I, if I do this, I think I'll, there it goes. There it is, perfect. Um, so uh, Dian Wolfwing is his name and you'll see that uh, in the chat right now. So uh, Dian kind of leans back, uh, his smile not fading as he looks over to you and he just will lean forward and just be like, how you, how you been Eli? Besides the obvious. I mean, the obvious has been my life for the past, ooh, seven years now. His smile turns into a frown and states, I, uh, I understand. I just want to let you know that the, myself, along with the family, apologizes for anything that's gone wrong with that. Now, here's a question for you, Snake. Did Eli give out any information about the family no. while he was arrested? So you kept quiet. Absolutely. And you would say that Eli's probably been punished because of that more so yes. when, during he's arrested, okay. Well, then Dean will kind of just look over to you and offer a hand and say, while there's certain things that are outside our control, I just want to let you know that myself and the family, while apologetic, appreciate that you're able to keep it together for seven years. You could have easily said something he points to himself. You could have easily said my name for a lighter sentence. But from my understanding, business has continued. Instead of, besides that little snafu with you. And I want to thank you. That takes real strength, real courage. And the Lamonto family. Well, we know when we're in debt. 
and we'll make sure that debt is repaid. And we'll make sure that you're taken care of. But I suppose the question is, are you on early release right now? Or are you not supposed to be here? And he leans back. Because I believed you were supposed to be sentenced for a very, very long time. I needed my expertise. I escaped. Smiles as he looks forward and and says, ah, so you're you're working with the prots. More like they think I am. Hmm. He'll, at that point, turn his focus behind you to the people that are with you. Then perhaps introductions are in order. And he'll look at Karis. Karis will, uh, do, like, a little head tilt nod and say, uh, wait, oh god, wait, uh, uh, hold on, player Tabitha. panicking. Get Tabitha. the list! Get the Tabitha. list! Tabitha! <laughs> Tabitha! <laughs> name's Tabitha, <laughs> yeah! Uh, name's Tabitha Reese. Hmm. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Reese. And just what is it that you do? Uh, <clears throat> above, above board how how deep in this are we I can't quite remember what like like how deep your identity goes yeah it's it's a name and an ID god <laughs> then she'll shrug and just say little of this little of that keeping keeping places clean for the most part uh, very menial things I see a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And what mm -hmm. about you, big guy? Looks over to Dash. Uh, Dash will also do a little nod. Uh, my name's Tommy. Uh, Tommy. And, uh, what is it that you do, Tommy? He'll, uh... He'll smirk a little and flex. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Karis looks like she wants to die. <laughs> and, uh, what is it you're trying to tell me, Tommy? Oh, I'm, um, I, uh, I just, uh, you know, I'm I'm just uh, the muscle, you know. Right. That's why I. That's why I did. That's. And he'll flex again. <laughs> <laughs> he gets us out of trouble if things get a bit dicey. He also lifts a lot of boxes. You should have seen him earlier. He flexed his sleeves off. And uh, <laughs> he did do that. Which brings me to you. Looks over at Hellebore. Dr. Ted Smith Forensics! For forensics <laughs> I'm just for here for the ride, kinda, right now. F forensic for... For who? Where do you work for? That sounds like a prot position. It's more so I just look at dead bodies and I say, Ooh, looky, he was shot! Or, ooh, looky, he had a stroke. Hmm. I'm gonna come back at this with the drink. <laughs> yeah, as I need to try to create a distraction and then just start passing out all the drinks to everyone. We're like, this one's for you, and this one for you, and this one for you. Ooh, oh. alcohol! He's gonna do like a slight bow towards the, the stranger. Hmm. Uh, Master Eli, is this one of your one of your acquaintances you've mentioned? 
I am learning under him currently. He's teaching me some things. My father paid him some gold so that he might teach me his, his craft. My father wishes I could be more useful with my hands, you see, so he's put me under the service of Eli here, and rather than paid him a rather substantial amount of coin, haven't we, Eli? <laughs> Not enough. Oh, well, father will give you an interest if, if, if I come back and I'm useful, of course. But uh, what is it you do, sir? Dean's eyes literally glass over at the very long-winded explanation of what Victor's doing <laughs> to the point where he does not ask any further <laughs> of what Victor is <laughs> or how it works <laughs> before he just goes uh, um previous associate of Eli uh, well, well if, you, if you could shift up I, I'll sit next to you uh, that's Quite all right. And he'll motion just, over to Hellebore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, like, make some room over there. <laughs> He's not moving. Um, so, so uh, after introductions are in order, Dan will look to Eli and say, "Well, how can I help you today, Eli?" You came here for a reason, I'd imagine, pointing over to the bar specifically. Since you're aware of our dealings here, I'm assuming you require more than just a drink of rum? Well, you know, I'll grab the glass, sort of give it a swill. and then down the whole thing. To be perfectly honest, this was priority number one. The, uh, the rump? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dean nods. Priority two was showing my face. Letting you know I was back in the game. I see. I have to admit, I didn't think you'd be returning to it. You were a little green behind the gills last time I met you. Yeah, well. And he'll 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 just kind of finish. Your partner did more of the talking. He's still around. He smirks. I was actually going to ask you that next. Have you been in contact with Wade? No, not since. El Trail. He leans forward. Well, if you do ever get back in contact with Wade... Why don't you do me a favor and just talk with your your old buddy right here? You don't have to let him know we're looking for him. In fact, it'd probably be in both of our best interests. If he didn't know, we were coming. Eli will nod, and you can, uh, anybody who's paying attention will see his grip tighten on the glass he's holding. Mm. I'm gonna roll a, a quiet, well, I guess not quiet. Uh, let me ignore that. That's good. I'm gonna be making a, uh, a, a private GM roll. Insight, looking into you. Only the uh, only the audience will be able to see it. You guys didn't see that roll, right? It's question mark nope. for you guys. Perfect. Yep. Dean will give a smile. Not a smile. No, no. Dean doesn't smile. That seems insidious. I would say he gives an unnerved look to you, gripping the glass, and he looks over at you. 
you didn't know? Didn't want to believe. I'm sorry, Eli. It seems Wade was pretty opportunistic. Yeah, he's why I'm here. Not directly, but it was him that brought us into the fold in the first place. And now, after being in the vault for seven years, I can't exactly find honest work anymore. Well, let me let, let me tell you something, Eli. The family takes care of its own. And needless to say, we were hoping, even though it may have left a bad taste in your mouth, we were hoping you might be able to find it in your heart to come back. Because needless to say, you've never left it. You haven't wronged us in any way. You keep quiet when you need to. You're intelligent. And so, needless to say, you've never left. You, you'll you always be a member of this family as long as you can prove your worth. And I think, personally, and the rest of the family agrees, you've done that tenfold. And rest assured, Eli, we're going to find that son of a bitch and we'll make him pay for what he's done to me, to the family. And he points at your chest and to you. There's a, another moment of silence from Eli, and he looks more to the table, almost, almost embarrassed to even have to ask this. You know what happened to... Have you been keeping tabs on Lori and the girls? Give me a minute. I'm trying to think how he'd say it. Could give a silent nod. We're keeping our distance. I understand you didn't want this life for them. But needless to say, they've come into some rather kind of fortunes. Let's just leave it at that. They're doing well. Have you seen them yet? No, don't plan to. He nods. Good. Make sure you remember that. Because if you're not on an official release, that could be trouble for your family. And he smirks a little bit before he says, And it seems the defense forces don't exactly know where they've relocated. I think we should keep it that way. Don't you agree, Eli? It's Eli now who extends a hand. He takes it. And he'll just simply say, Welcome back, Eli. The family's missed you. And not again and say, when do I start? Hmm. 
Um. So, hold, so let me let me let me uh, let me let me put a pin in this real quick. What's the what is the goal with the family for you guys? Are you trying to get more information? Are you trying to get back into the underworld or trying to get into the underworld to gather the get the information about the facade? What what what's the mo what's the objective here that you guys are trying to do? I'm still fun. Of... Go ahead. Sorry. Not it. <laughs> <laughs> he got you there. All, all that I was going to say was that last session we we sort of like threw out all of the options and decided to just have this meeting and see what happened, right? But like, right. uh, we discussed that, um, you know, going undercover basically and and trying to gain trust would be a probably a more legitimate way to get good information but the longer that we wait more people might die which mm -hmm. some of the people in the group don't give a fuck about um so logan was no names like time limit yeah logan was specifically like we're not letting more people die and cicero was like ah i mean we could <laughs> um, <laughs> Cicero's the best cop. <laughs> he's a, he's such a good cop. He's such, so hard, you know. Such a good cop, dude. Okay. Um. So so you're hoping to? Okay, that sounds good. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I was still in line with what you guys are doing. Um, not losing track. So after you say, um. You know, when do we start? Uh, Dean smiles and says, uh, So tell me, Eli, how would you like to finally meet Lou? Uh, Lou, Lou Bubka specifically, is the head of the Lamonto family. For a fraction of a second, Eli's eyes will go wide. Do you follow up with anything? Didn't expect him to be able to make time for little old me. Needless to say, Lou's very interested. And you and wants to personally apologize and make things right for your wrongful incarceration. And I think Lou might even have a job for you, too. When's the meet? Well. Lou should be be able to talk tomorrow night. I can take you to the headquarters. Maybe you could help me some, out with something, Eli. Because Lou also has a request. And I... I don't know what it means. Lou likes to keep things close to the breast pocket. But maybe you'd understand it. Lou wants you to bring someone named Logan to the meeting. Who's Logan? Well, let's just say he's a thorn in my side. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Would you be able to bring this Logan to the meeting? Actually pretty sure he's brazen enough to take the meat. No questions asked. He'll be there. Hmm. 
then. Tomorrow night, go ahead and meet us outside the Valder Tunnel, specifically at 8 o'clock. The, uh, some of our prots that'll be inside our pocket should be watching the tunnels at that point. He'll give a he'll give a nod. Oh, uh, one last thing. Uh, you'll see. You'll see Dian open up his uh, his coat pocket, and he will pull out a handful of credits and hand it to you. Right, how many are we talking? Uh, so let me look over here. But yeah, he'll he'll give you the credits and say, just a just to start the payback for the reprimands. Uh, what, how much? Uh, let me check what your wealth level was before. Two, I think. Two. Okay. One moment, please. You will be given a hundred uh, more credits. You'll be given. You'll actually be given a hundred credits. Yeah, I'll look them over in his hands and wordlessly slide them over to Karis. Karis will take it and. She's not going to keep it, but she'll <laughs> nod at him and just stuff it away. Deanne will give a nod. Take care of yourself, Eli. Always do. What do you guys do at that point? Eli will stand and uh, offer his hand to shake one last time. Dean takes it. So, Eli, with the hundred credits that you now have on hand, how, well, how many credits did you have on hand before? Uh, let's see. Had 20 credits on hand, it looks like. Yeah. yeah and I, okay. No, I didn't spend one for the room. Cause... That's correct. So you have uh, 120 credits now, personally. Um, And now that you have Dian as a contact, you effectively have a wealth level of four. Meaning, if you need to pull some f favors, then if you want to go to Dian specifically, uh, Dian may be able to get you some things that would normally be out of your budget. You've got 120 uh, credits on hand, um, but you can spend up to 500 credits, including the credits on hand, uh, by cashing in Dian as a resource. And as you continue to work with the Lamento family, your influences of wealth may continue to expand. Sounds good to stay in a room full of cops. <laughs> <laughs> Nodders. <laughs> All right. Um, are you guys departing the bar at this point? I, I'd follow Eli wherever he goes. Yeah, I would. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, after you guys leave the bar, we're going to go ahead and take a small break because I have to use the restroom. I have to okay. okay. So okay. I'm gonna go ahead. Good luck, Thank you so much. It's uh, cold out there, so I'm gonna try my best though. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Yeah, I'll be back in a couple of minutes and we'll, uh... <laughs> Brett has prepared Desperado's sheet for combat. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Desperado's dead. He's dead. All right. I killed I'll, him. <laughs> I'll be, uh, I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna mute as well. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, chat. Give me a moment. I'll be, uh, right back. Enjoy some ads. Smile. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. All right. You guys have uh, left the bar, walking back out to the, the chill, cold, outside exterior weathered area. 
My brain just died there, but you know, it's cold outside. It's, it's birds. Get yourself warm. I um, look directly at Logan and I squeeze his butt. <laughs> Logan? Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who put it in your back pocket, old man. <laughs> I see uh, you're done. Uh, you guys are free to walk around, by the way, if you want to go across the street. You guys have just left the bar. Eli ignores completely and just walks down the street, heading back to the motel. Oh. Eli's walking away from the group. Uh, Dash will uh, stay with him, but not, like, crowd him. Oh, uh, gotcha. So, like, yeah. Okay. So as Eli there, will... Walk it oh. back. Yeah, go on. Sorry. Eli will uh, say under his breath so that Dash can hear. Eyes everywhere. We need to keep moving. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll just keep walking with him. Uh, what is the rest of you doing as you cross the street to talk to Logan? I follow him, Bo. Yeah, they make it obvious that they're just trying to keep subtle from Logan. Like, is that what you're trying to do? Uh, yeah, don't even look at him, or Eli yeah. doesn't. I think he's going to copy Eli then just to follow suit. I love the I, idea of I Logan make like. Pointer what? Finger. I make my hand do a pointer finger in that direction in his back butt pocket. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What is. What? What is happening right? What is happening right now? Karis, what are you doing? Karis is gonna kind of jerk her head to the side at Logan, be like, huh, "Time to go. <laughs> 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 Let's go." So she'll kind of approach, but then like veer and just like ah, a, a ninety degree turn right over there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Logan, everyone's leaving you. Lovely. Okay. And he sort of like follows his butt hand. Just follow the butt hand, man. The butt hand won't lead you astray. Yeah, uh, I follow at a distance though, because I'm trying to suss them out. Because I don't know what they're doing. Right. Right. Ooh, right. Sorry, wrong one. That the was right the one. <laughs> that was the one. <laughs> You're listening to Dead Beats Radio. <laughs> That's the one. That was a boot. That was the boot. Um, all right. So you guys are returning back to the motel. If yeah, that's or somewhere private. Where right? Eli goes. Yeah. yeah. Who's gonna be paying the credit uh, for <clears throat> for everyone if you guys are spending another night at the motel? Uh, I'll assume that's my job now. I'll do it. Um, do we wanna spend the night, or are we just here to? Are we just going in the lobby? We're like... meeting tomorrow night. Mm. Three credits for three rooms. I, I don't think Karis would let Dash pay two nights in a row. She, she'd probably cut in and be like, you got yesterday. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. All right. You guys return back to the motel, enter its lobby. Eli seems to be in a bit of a rush as you guys all walk in. Logan trailing behind, I suppose. Eli, do you stay in the lobby or are you going back to your room? Uh, Eli will leave that up to the prots. I'll simply ask, are you talking here or in private? Definitely in private. All right, you guys will retreat back. I'm assuming to one of the uh, motel rooms then. Yeah. Whose room, <clears throat> whose room you going to? Logan's. All right. Uh, so so Logan, <laughs> as you trail behind, uh, Karis just opens up the, the door to your room and then everyone walks into, yeah, everyone goes into uh, Logan's room. I lay in Logan's bed. Logan, you're the last person to enter the room. It Under or over a, the covers. It takes a good five minutes for Logan to walk in the room. <laughs> Mostly because of shock and a little terror and like, what are you doing in my room? <laughs> <laughs> over the covers, I'm definitely using his pillow as an elbow rest. Great. 
Yeah, Logan walks in and looks over all of you and just like, sorry, I had to brace myself for what I would see. I squeezed your butt again. Charming. What is all this about? Um, well, uh, he'll like look around like, is it cool if I talk? <laughs> he flexes. He doesn't know how to talk. <laughs> Kara smiles uh, at him. If I understood the situation correctly, sir, um, you've been asked for uh, by your real name, uh, by the the uh, head of the f- family, right? He'll like look at Eli. You got a mole in your midst. Interesting. The wolf All didn't right. know why you were here or even who you are, but he did have your name and told me to bring you to the meet just tomorrow at eight. And what is this meet about? I thought it was about me getting back into the game, but by the sound of it, head of the family already knows you're here, so it's probably about why. So if they know I'm here, and they knew you were going to approach them, safe to assume they know that we're here right now, then? Probably. Hmm. Well, what does that mean, then? It means that we're stuck here. We got to commit to the plan and don't do anything stupid. Well, (laughs) it's far too late for that. Fair enough. I don't know what they want from you. But I do know that I'm still in their good graces, at least right now. And it would be a huge favor to me if you don't screw that up. I have business. Well, there is one benefit to this. If they already knew we were all here and they knew who you are, they probably have no interest in killing you, or they would have done that by now. In fact, it's more likely that they have an opportunity for you if they want to meet you in private. They're probably curious in the same way we are. I would say drop the charade. Go down there, honestly. feel as though the charade doesn't make any difference at this point. If they know you, then they probably know all of us. Indeed. Who knows how many people they have under their wing. It sounds like they have prots all over the place. We're playing in their world now. We might as well play by their rules and get whatever we can along the way. These types, however, are only interested in what they can get in their own wants. So my question, Toymaker, what do they want of you? Toys. And when this is all done, you will give that to them? If it gets me what I want. Ah. Is that not all we want? To achieve catching facade by any means necessary? I know what I want. And I know what they want. I'm very curious how your wants will affect those two things. They won't. 
Good. Well then, I see no reason we shouldn't just meet with them. The worst that can happen is I'll die. You don't seem too bothered about that. When you've been in this job as long as I have, you get used to that notion. Death is not the worst. It's really not. Hmm. Um. Is this a only the two of you should go situation, or is this do we all go, or what should well, we be point, preparing for? At this point, you've all shown your faces, so you might as well go. Uh, oh no, they think I'm Tommy. Uh, All right, Tommy, you can still be Tommy. I was going to tell okay. you not to be Tommy. I would, uh, can I offer him, please do not be Tommy. You, <laughs> uh, your, Tommy is not much different from you. Tommy just, all he does is flex. I thought Tommy was great. Tommy is Thanks. just Dash, that's why you think he's great. Yes, they're both great. Just be, I'm, I'm go pretty fat Tommy too. You, you have been adamant how much you enjoy the name Dash. I believe he should return to Dash and, and give up this Tommy facade. What if, if instead I'd... I become Dash and you stay Tommy? <laughs> that I could also vote on. <laughs> Dash looks so confused. I don't like that. He should I... be Dash and Tommy. Who am I? You're no, how about really go up to him and like pinch his cheeks. You are the best. At this point, I feel as though going by aliases might hurt our cause, if, if anything. If well, they know at least with this do. organization, certainly. If they know who we are, then they know who we are. But Indeed. we can't go around so to means... the general public and simply say, I am Dash, a undercover detective doing undercover things. We can't I'd rather, do that. I'd rather cool. keep using Ted Smith. I don't want my dad to know I'm in town. Well, we can't have one Ted Smith and one Dash. Yeah, I, we have to course. make a decision. Uh, the, the charade keeps up for anyone not involved in the family. But when we deal with the family, we don't want to insult their intelligence. They've worked it out and make them feel confident in it, and it shows a little bit of trust from us. But everyone or, else, we go by the other names. Those who don't need to reveal themselves shouldn't be forced to. But what if they already know? Do you not think they'd make a take some insult towards us trying to lie to them still. I honestly don't care if they're insulted. You should. Well, <laughs> I don't. They're walking into their territory, Logan. Yes, and I have many times before, and I've walked out with one of them, or more, and he looks over the room in handcuffs. This is going to go swimmingly. Well, to tomorrow then. To tomorrow. Now get the hell out of my room. I take Good Logan's night. pillow with me. <laughs> um, Dash will leave the room, but wait for Eli. Yeah, Victor's gonna leave what past them. Eli will exit uh, after giving Logan one final quizzical look. Out of character, do I know who is responsible for uh, overseeing the case that brought me down? Mm, no. Eli mentally puts a pin in that for later. Logan looks at you like, what? <laughs> what? Remember, nothing stupid. And Alexa. Eli. Before you leave the room, Karis will call out. I'll stop and, and turn. She'll toss the baggie of credits at you. It's yours. Don't think you have any reason to dash. 
<laughs> yeah. Is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? From around the door frame. Yeah. <laughs> Dash peeks his head in. Somebody call me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Don't worry oh, about it. Okay. Good Closes night. the door. <laughs> a uh, knowing nod to Karis and then an exit. All right, everyone returns to their rooms. I'm assuming the uh, the bunk mates will not be switching up. So, as the door closes, Karis uh, and Logan, what are you what are you guys doing currently? Logan, what's your general demeanor at this point? A little pissed that this group decided to make plans without me, and now I'm going to go meet people that are gonna attempt to kill me. I'm thrilled by this. What is your how do you appear like how does logan appear currently in the room stone face sitting in the corner drinking coffee <laughs> <laughs> just staring off karis what staring do you at do the, staring at the door yeah yep karis will go and sit on her bed and uh a- after a moment she'll uh she'll say uh he you all right i'm fine you say so we need your head in the game oh my head in my head's all the way in very much in the game certainly sounds like it oh it is <laughs> all right prove it tomorrow oh i will tomorrow <laughs> when i prove it <laughs> All right. Is Lo- is All right. Lo- is Logan like tapping his finger on the table apprehensively? Like, you his, know, his, some- his leg is doing that like leg twitch. wiggle thing. <laughs> yeah, that twitch. And he's sitting there shaking his coffee and he's like wrapping his fingers on the table like one at a time. Yeah. Oh, he's visibly just irritated. Yeah, but his face is stone cold. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> just love it do you need a drink oh no i'm drinking right now and he holds up the cup <laughs> uh all right as he holds okay. up the, the the cup in a very stoic jerky motion you just have a little bit of coffee just, just spills out as he's holding it out just like <laughs> shaking up molding a little bit <laughs> got my drink right here <laughs> puts it back <laughs> that's what i just imagined all right understood boss that's right. You remember who the boss is? <laughs> Not the criminals. <laughs> I love it. So defensive. I love mm-hmm. it. I love Are it. you uh, having a crisis right now, boss? Are you having a crisis? Will you listen to confirmed felons? All I know is that they know this world better than us. Sometimes it serves us well to sit and listen and follow someone else's directive. Eli's the only one who really has an in for now. Who knows, maybe tomorrow we'll be able to get more information, talking with someone who knows everything. We're deep still in the- under, oh, sorry. No, go, go for it, go for it. <laughs> I was say like, deep under his breath, but you can definitely hear it. He says, well, now I know why you're on traffic duty. Oh. Excuse me? <clears throat> Nothing, you're just a sore throat. Karis is gonna get up and walk in front of him and kind of peer down at him as he sits on the chair. I'm on traffic duty because the XDF doesn't know how to dole out their roles. I've done plenty of good work, thank you. Like what? And he looks up at you snidely. <laughs> Karis, all of the goodwill that had been built the previous night is immediately shattered. <laughs> she just, she sneers, kind of tilts her head up and is clearly holding back, but she'll sigh and go back to her bed. 
I'm I've waiting. had my I've had my tussles, I've had my jobs. I don't need to prove any of it to you. Especially not an aging, retiring boss. Hmm. Interesting. I thought you'd be a little more aggressive, but I guess the stories can't all be true. She flinches a bit. She holds it. She she holds it in and is biting her tongue, but she uh she falls silent. She's definitely trying not to. Karis, make a wisdom save. Oh God! <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, save. Holy oh my God! God. Incredible! <laughs> the power. <gasps> Karis? Yes? You feel something building up in you. Go on. And then it subsides. Oh, God. <laughs> Cat, Logan probably behind him would hear like her breathing quicken for just just a few seconds, a few deep heaves, and then she calms herself down. Do I recognize what has just occurred? Make an insight check. Oh, I oh I'm gonna. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, you. There, Karis, hmm. it almost has, it almost felt as if she was having like a moment of crisis. Like she was about, like she was about to lose it. But it, from your, your insight role, from your insightfulness, I would say it was something more, more concerning than that. For for a brief for a brief moment, it almost felt like Karis wasn't even there. Yeah, um, the self satisfying smugness of uh, Logan trying to push Karis turns to a, a slight bit of concern, but he's still facing towards the door and uh, doesn't show his cards. Inside, we knew. <laughs> Seal, don't feel. <laughs> well, never bothered her, anyways. <laughs> um, after that, Karis is gonna just lay down and, like, on her side and face away from Logan and just try to get some sleep. All right. On the uh, on the other rooms, um, Victor and uh, Elibor, you enter your room. Uh, I took Logan's pillow. I'm gonna look for hair strands. Why? Oh, are you asking me why in character? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Samples for later. Why do you need samples? Uh, it helps with spells. I see. Have you been collecting everyone's hair? He thinks to himself. I don't remember, maybe. If you touch a single hair on my head, I will cut you. That would be great. I continue I am... looking for hairs on this pillow. Victor's gonna clean his own pillow, to make sure there's no remnants <laughs> of any hair. 
You're a weird one. Yes. I'm surprised you're just figuring that out now. Oh, no, no, I'm just vocalizing it. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad we're on the same page. Why does Dash care about you? Good question. No idea. No? You don't have history together? Uh, childhood. Oh, yes? And were you close then? Yes. Was it more like a friendship, neighborly affair, or brothers, or...? It was more of a... He pauses. Blanks out. I'm being told to stop talking to you. We can tell Piper that I have no agenda. I'm just curious. I've been trapped in a cell for so long that a little bit of conversation does go a long way. I'm just... I mean, I've spent so much time with myself. I want to learn about others. Surely but Piper could understand that. But have you looked inside yourself? He turns into you. It's a neat trick. Are you using this guy's self? Yeah, yes. Illusionary magic. It's been around a long time. You won't impress me by doing that. I'm more interested in the tinkering side of things. That's a little bit more recent. When I was incarcerated, they'd only just started this whole shard affair. Now it looks like they perfected it. Show me more of that, I'd be intrigued. Cast a spell and, well. Uh, he, he turns back into zombie self. If you want more of the shard stuff, I think that's more of an Eli thing. I deal mainly in magic and alchemy. The alchemy side of things, though, has that improved? Can you do he anything looks at except himself. He looks at himself and all his patchwork. I'm not allowed to make potions anymore. Piper said no to that, so he makes the potions now. Right. Well, maybe when Piper's feeling a little bit more talkative, I'll ask about the potions. Okay! Until then, should we play a little game of who can keep quiet the longest until the morning? I'm going to lose that game. I got to go do something after I look for, for hairs on this pillow. Are there any goddamn hairs on this pillow? Rolling. <laughs> I want to know before my ADHD kicks in and I move on to the next thing. No. Shit. He throws the pillow at the wall. Well, to mimic Eli, don't do anything stupid. Good night. Got it! That'll leave my room. Time to bed. And, and what are you doing, Teleport? I gotta go disturb the others. This is my job. Yeah, the door <laughs> opens, um, closes, and... Uh, Victor, you have a room to yourself in silence. Are you doing anything while you're in the room, Victor? Um... I think he would, uh, is there any means of playing music? Yeah. Like, did, uh, he would try and find and work out any device that he can do that just to put on some soothing, like, classical music so you can kind of, like, he, he, I think he's going to put the lock on the door as well on this side. He's just going to bolt the door and then maybe just shift a little bit of a cupboard in front of it or like a uh, little kind of, like, side table. Good. Yeah, as you, uh, yeah, as you go through trying to find music, figuring out one of the devices, like this little radio that's in the room itself. A lot of it is just news, like sort of like um, like going ons and news of Jotun, as well as some news that has been happening over in the capital, uh, over in Kathos. And it just seems to be a lot of talky, a lot of chatty. Some of the music that that's come up are, is, is definitely tunes that are foreign to you and extremely unfamiliar. But I'd say after a few minutes of searching, you'd finally get to something calm and classical, just something relaxed, a bit distorted, a bit aged, mm. a bit old, but yes. He, uh, he just kind of like, he'd block off the door a little bit, 
Makes it difficult to kind of get in. Makes it look like <laughs> it's kind of locked off. Uh, <clears throat> and then he's going to... In fact, I think he's going to wait to push like a whole side table and lean against it and then pull mm -hmm. the other bed across and then build himself a double bed. Mm. Um, and then uh, look out the window once and say, ah, it's good to be home before climbing into his newly founded double bed his and resting for the night. Bed. Mm. I can't believe this dude's listening to Uptown Girls while locking <laughs> me out of the room. <laughs> uh... Eli and Dash, uh, what are you guys doing when you return back to the room? <clears throat> um, I think Dash, like, looks a, a little <clears throat> like he's not really sure what to do with himself. Like, he's kind of, like, up and, and pacing a lot, uh, just sort of restless. And then he'll suddenly turn to Eli and go, I... I I need to eat something. Are you hungry? Uh, around what time is it? <sighs> Thinking. I'd say it's about mid-afternoon at this point. Eli, I'll look out. Uh, I assume there's a window. Yeah. Eli, I'll glance out the window. Measure it's what a, time it, of day it is. It's a window of one of the shard spires, so it's like this... It's, it's literally like if the motel sign was like in your window and you kind of have this like uh, glow peering through the window. Yeah, it's that. It's like this light blue glow just peering through the window from the shard spire that's outside. Uh, yeah, I could eat. Okay. Um, I'll, uh, <laughs> like, is there, uh, you know, like modern style? Is there like a, a list of things that this place makes? <laughs> or is this not really a place that makes food? I can't what, remember, like... What do you mean by place? Are you talking about the motel itself? Yeah. Yeah, the motel doesn't have any, like, sort of restaurant or anything like that. You'd have to go, um... You'd, you'd have to go to, uh, it's close to the marketplace where they have a little, a little bit of, like... A little bit of, like, little, uh... Little cafes, little diners. Okay. Otherwise, I mean, you can go and get yourself a day-old Danish, uh, up the front box of cereal <laughs> whatever they yeah okay <laughs> he'll be like i'll be right back and he'll leave the room literally whatever they have at the front dash will buy all of it okay. oh god <laughs> and he'll just come back with this weird feast of like the sort of food that you would get from uh like a Oh gosh, what are it's, those called? It, it literally is just like little fruit, uh, boxes of cereal, some some day olds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and get. Uh, you spent three credits on everything Great. at the front. <laughs> Great. <laughs> He'll come back looking like he's got a f absolute feast, <laughs> and like dump it out on the table. Like, well, um, it ain't much, but can't leave the building, so. You know, just uh, make do with this, I guess. Are Are you all right, son? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm well. Hon honestly, I feel I feel so bad about like. I was told I wasn't gonna have to talk, and then when I did have to talk, I really I really biffed it. I uh. I need to make sure I don't do that again. <laughs> you biffed he said it. Biffed it. <laughs> I think you did fine. What I'm worried about is the uh, your friend saying that he's a, a forensics something or other. Oh yeah. I didn't know what that meant really, but um. I don't know. I guess uh, he'll like sit on the bed. I, I don't know how. Sorry if you don't want to talk about this, but like how 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 much trouble do you think that we're in here? If the wolf is good on his word, then we're we should be okay so long as we don't try anything. Okay. Um, 
Hey, f for what it's worth, I thought you did amazing today. Like, I don't know, you, you really, like, kept your composure. It was awesome. I appreciate you saying so, but it, uh... But let's just say you, this is your fuel. Mine is rage. Ash looks a little concerned. So I'm not going to screw this up until I, until I get to where I'm going. Um, I mean, I said it before, but I'll do my best to make sure that you're safe and that we, uh, we all get through this, you know? If they try anything against me, it will be in your, all of your best interest to not intervene. Yeah, I know you said that before, but that's, <laughs> like, he'll kind of pause. So I, that's not really how I operate. I'm sorry. You, you I don't, uh, sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead. Um, I say, I, I just don't think that, I don't think I could live with myself if I walked away and I knew that you needed help. You, you get the feeling that Eli is going to protest, but he sighs instead and grabs a Danish question mark <laughs> from the pile and takes a bite. You really do need another job. Uh, I used to have a different job, actually. Um, my whole family, they're all paladins uh, for Hayo. I, I did all the training for it. I, um, that, that's the track that I was on. So I, you know, I got, I got trained to do like a really specific thing and I, I just, it wasn't right for me. Um, but I know that I want to help people. I, I know that I want to keep people safe and this seems like a good way to do it. I was given the opportunity to do that. So that's, I don't know. I'm just trying to do my best. I don't, I don't know that I'm any good at it. Well, if it's any consolation, you have yet to do wrong by me. That does, that means a lot. Your boss, on the other hand, how well do you know him? Oh, um, not super well. I mean, uh, he basically has been the person who uh, oversaw all my training once, you know. He doesn't really talk about himself very often. He doesn't really talk very much, period. At least he, he never really did to me, but... I mean... He has so many cases under his belt. Like, he's been through a lot. He's... He's done so much good work, at least on paper. And this whole facade thing, that... I, I don't know much about the cases. Um, I mean, I recognize the name, but it's, it's not a case that I ever had to research, really. Why is he so interested in it? I don't know. I, I, I assumed that... that he worked on it, or, um... I don't know. It, it does It does seem like he cares a lot about it, but I'm not sure why. Hmm. Well, 
He seems hell bent on finding him. Or her or them. I <clears throat> who knows what we're dealing with. Could be multiple. To be honest, I'm I'm more concerned about um Cicero. I've never seen her or heard about him at the precinct before. I don't know. He's sorry, I shouldn't I shouldn't be talking about that with you, but um I'm I'm concerned about some stuff too. I just want to make sure that we're all safe at the end, you know, just like I was saying before. I, hmm. Eli clearly has something to say about the whole Cicero <laughs> thing, but stops himself. Be careful <clears throat> around that one. Oh, I'll try. <laughs> At that point, the door busts open. <laughs> as I'm here to disturb the masses. <laughs> as Alabor storms in, a clap track follows in suit. Dash will point at the table. You want something to eat? Yes, but one second. Uh, immediate Piper switch. Oh. Okay, so you can kind of see disguise, uh, yes. disguise self. How Whoa. many, uh, hey, how many spell slots is that so far? Uh, not a spell slot. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're using, that's your, is that your incantation? That's, is yeah, that your, that's uh, Mask of Many Faces. Amazing. Oh, I can do this as much as I want, baby. <laughs> All right, let me make, uh, which, which Piper? Ah, yes, it's this one. Boop, boop. There's the boy. There's the boy. Immediately slamming the door and locking it. Oh. He looks uh, like an angry mom. You, uh, you okay? No. What the fuck did you get yourself into? Um, well, I bought everything they had and they did seem no, a little no, 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 upset no, no, about no, no. it, but. Not that. Why are we dealing with the mob? And he's like, he like doesn't even care that Eli is like hearing this. And like, he like is kind of ignoring Eli in the room. Eli looks visibly startled. Uh, well. And then I calms mean, it, down. I, I was asked to be part of this. It's, you know. I was told it was going to be dangerous. I didn't know like what all was going to be involved, but he just—he looks like a concerned, worried mother. He pinches the bridge of his nose. <laughs> okay, that's not all. Uh, what the fuck do you know about my crazy roommate? Oh, we were just talking about him. Wait, no, we weren't talking about him. <laughs> Point at Eli. I came in at a great time. Visibly winks at Eli. <laughs> we weren't talking about him, but, okay, we, but we were talking about him a little bit. You all apparently had a meeting or something that I wasn't at. What is he to everybody here? What, what's his deal? Uh, well, um, uh, Detective Thorne brought him in, said that he uh, worked for a different department, I think, um, but we still don't know what that department is. And he says some really weird stuff. Um, and I, I, I don't know. I <laughs> look at Eli again and be like, you're not hearing this. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I, if I, it, it looks like it's paining him to like acknowledge that maybe someone isn't a cop who has been introduced to him as a cop. <laughs> He's like, I don't, it, he just doesn't seem like, something's not right, I don't know. 
he he looks like he wants to scream, but he's holding it down like really hard. Did Detective Thorn tell you he was a cop? Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, I think Detective Thorne is full of shit and he's drived you into some weird situation now. No, I, I don't know. Because that freak, oh. he points like out in the hallway, yesterday night, kept asking me these really fucking weird questions. Well, like what? Oh, like if I was going to run or escape and quote unquote, if I wanted to run away from those who have us in restrictive conditions, he air quotes. Wait, he has restrictive conditions? He asked me if I planned on running because it could cause, and he air quotes again, our little escape to only be momentarily. What the fuck did you get yourself into? He like does like a soft punch in Dashie's arm like he's a like upset brother. And I, I don't even know what this role would be. Hmm. What are you trying to, what are you trying to figure out? I, I guess I'm trying to figure out, well, hmm. I think Dash would like, I think Dash would immediately think to himself, like, if that's what he's saying, then he's actually a convict. But oh, I'm, uh, I'm go ahead. You can make an investigation trying... check to like see if you can piece that together if you'd like. Well, no, I think he would. I guess this is probably just an RP thing, but I'm I'm wondering, I'm trying to decide whether or not Dash would like be in denial about wisdom. That. Sure, maybe oh, a wisdom. Oh, check? kind of just like oh, so you're trying to lie to yourself essentially. Yeah. Like, would I would I accept that very easily or not? Because uh, Dash is like full lawful. I'll and I oh, don't... You know what? OK, all right. I'll tell you this. I tell you this. Uh, okay. Go ahead and make an insight check and do it at disadvantage because you really don't want to believe it. OK. I think you can control click for for that. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, it's not going through. You know, uh, I can also make the rule for you if it's for not coming through for whatever reason. Yeah, it was. It's all it good. It was really, it was a really good roll, so I'm upset, but that's okay. Yeah, if you can do the roll for me. Okay. Because so it didn't pop up. There you go. Control click. Okay. Okay. So, uh, it, the roll is going to be an eight. Yeah. Which is still. For the pieces that you're putting together, if you would like to like psych yourself out, you you could probably you could probably push yourself over that if you'd like. Uh, there's there's got to be like some kind of misunderstanding. Maybe he's pretending to be a convict to try Dash, and like get information out of you. Collar on. When when we were alone waiting for the detective and you. He did very pointedly ask if the detective would care if that one died. Dash, I'm only asking this because I'm worried about you because I don't want to see you get dragged down in a sinking ship if this detective is lying to you or he's not feeding us all the information because apparently we're in well, deep now. We're messing with the mob. Well, but maybe there's some stuff that I'm not supposed to know. I, I I don't know. Like at the end of the day, if we're if we're trying to take down a serial killer, like that's that's pretty important. Even if I don't have all of the information. Why would Logan lie about somebody being a cop, though? I don't I don't know. I I don't know. And he'll like put his head in his hands, like. He'll come and sit and like rub Dash's back. Listen, I don't know how important the case is to you. I don't know how important the case is to him, but don't let his lies get you caught in a sinking ship if that's what this is, because I'm not letting myself get stuck in that. But. 
Piper, we could keep a lot of people from getting killed if this does work. Isn't okay. that more important than keeping myself safe? Then he needs to start being honest. And if he doesn't start showing that, then what are we actually doing? Are we actually looking for a killer? What if he's lying about that? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. And he's gonna like step out and like take a walk, but stay in the building because he has to stay in the building to do right. his job. So. Right. So he's Dash, gonna, <clears throat> yeah, uh, go I was on. Gonna say, he's gonna look at Eli and be like, sup, nice to meet you. We've, no, we were roommates before all this. Nah, you were roommates with the woohoo loco one. Sorry, is that not you? You know how it is. I blew myself up. Half the brain got fucky. Half the brain was still fine. I, I didn't want to deal with the whole prison thing, so I just let him deal with it. So you're telling me there's two of you in there? It's more like you know how the right brain is like really creative and fun and artsy and then the left brain is like, wow, I actually know what I'm doing. It's more like that kind of thing. Right. So which one of you do I have to worry about? Probably the one that likes to scream at random times. So not me. Right. I think the other one was the one that shrieked every time you went to bed. Sorry about that. Eli will, um, you can tell he's trying to process all of that. And eventually he'll sort of shrug to himself as if to say, fuck it. And he'll extend a hand, taking all of it at face value. Hey, he shakes the hand. You can still definitely feel that, like, he's really weird and patched up through the illusion, but, like, he shakes the hand. It's like a normal handshake. He's not weird about it or anything. So, so what is all... Is this a glamour? What's happening here? Uh, it's something I picked up back home. He'll, like, drop the disguise self and then he'll turn into you. So kind of disturbing, isn't it? The voice doesn't change, correct? No, the voice doesn't change. He's not that good. There's the... You would have actually learned that because uh, I mean, you are Southern Ishtarian human. So I mean, this is home, t technically. So you're telling me you can be taller whenever you want. You stay that size. <laughs> I'm. Oh, he looks like he wants to yell at you. <clears throat> I'm normal size. I'm average. In fact, all around, generally average. You're the tall one. Where has being average gotten you? I don't know. I'm rich, kind of. I have butlers, kinda. It's it's done enough. Not anymore, he doesn't. Right. I'll tell I'll tell you what I told Dash. But I don't even need to tell you, you know. Be careful around him. Oh, trust me, I have not been comfortable sleeping in the same room as him. Dash. As you're wandering yeah. around the hallway, what what are you doing? So you're like, are you like pacing the hallway of the motel? Yeah, and he like slows down every time he's outside of Logan and Karis's room. 
like he's about to knock and then he decides not to and keeps pacing. So I guess the question I have is, after the pacing is done, does he knock on the door or does he return back to his room? I think, um, I think after he paced for a while, I think he would knock. Yeah. <gasps> so exciting. Karis, it's your turn to, uh, away from Logan as you've been this entire time. A cold silence has fallen over the room, perhaps better than, 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 than most. Until then, the silence is interrupted by a hesitant knock at the door. Uh, Karis would wait to see if Logan would get up to answer the door. What Logan do do, Logan? does not on the first knocks. He's waiting to see if you'll get up to get the door. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like after like a few seconds, if you haven't gotten up, then she'll <laughs> Dash is like she'll are they gone? <laughs> <laughs> she'll like passive aggressively sigh and then <clears throat> get up and then open the door. Uh hey Dash. Um hi. Uh, can I come in? Uh, yeah, what's up? She'll step he'll, aside to let him in. Yeah, he'll come in. Um, he'll, he'll stay next to the door after it's been shut. Um, because he's, he's like, he still wants to be aware of if, like, one of the cons, like, gets up and starts walking around outside. But, um, <clears throat> he'll, like, clear his throat. Sir? That's you, Logan. He'll, he'll wait to sir. be acknowledged yeah. by yeah, Logan. No, <laughs> no, Logan looks around. I, you couldn't see me. I literally actively <laughs> looked around an empty room. <laughs> I acted that moment out, and I'm embarrassed nice. that uh, there's no camera. <laughs> so, like, what was I doing? What was the point of all that? Why did I do that? Uh, nice. He looks around the room at the room <clears throat> full of prots, and then looks at you, Dash, and is like, where are the others? Um, uh, they're in my room it's okay I'll, I'll stand here i'll make sure that i can hear them if they but um <laughs> sir we need to talk about cicero go on the he'll like look at karis for a second and he'll say i feel um is he a prot sir or is he actually a convict i'm i'm sorry what is oh, he a convict God. sir dash <laughs> bless your sweet soul you are one of the most innocent people I've ever met in my entire life. Okay. Not once have I said that Cicero was a prot. Cicero is a consulting detective brought on to help in times of need. He is very intelligent and sometimes we need those who can think outside the prot box. Why is he wearing a collar, sir? Well, he's... Someone who is a bit uncontrollable. We like to make sure that we can ensure that we have his full cooperation. I think many of us understand what it's like to lose control. And he just like looks over at the bed. Karis glares back. We just need to make sure that 
he is not our worry when we should be thinking about the two actual criminals in our midst, which I find very interesting that today you both seem to have lost the mind that they are arrested criminals. And you have willingly followed and befriended the two of them in ways that I think is highly inappropriate. Followed nothing. This is a part of the case. We brought them on for information and we are listening to information, Logan. And they are gathering the information for us. They are informants to be used by us. They're they doing are not our their friends. part, sir. Yes, yeah, you it's... are correct. You're so correct, Ash. That's why I like you, you're smart. They are doing their part like pieces in a machine. We are well oiled and we will work efficiently if they do their part and that is all they do. But, sir. Cicero appears to mostly be inciting us to do things that we shouldn't be doing. I just Why don't understand. You were assigned to watch Cicero, I believe, by me. I was ass assigned to watch the convict, sir. Mm, right. I said watch the others, not the convicts. Uh, Dash looks so confused. I'm I just. Giving you responsibility. I thought that's what you wanted. I understand, and I'm trying to take that responsibility seriously, sir. I can see that. I can see that's why you're concerned and why you're coming to me. How can I help? You can just... help by not manipulating this boy. Dash has a point. You had Cicero approach us in the guise that he wasn't, or isn't, air quotes, a threat. He's not a threat, not to you or to anyone else. He is a threat to himself, and however. <laughs> you want to tell me this when he incited a fairly large panic on the plane that we were on that, mind you, we had other crises going on. I was about to say, Cicero, the plane that was almost hijacked. I'm pretty sure Cicero wasn't the problem on that flight. He was one of them. Yet, Sir, he helped I... in our escape. Yes? Am I wrong on that assumption? How Sir, was it? More now? to the point, I believe that he's inciting our convicts to try and escape. Ah. That is an interesting bit of information. See, this would have been a better start. Go on. Just the both of them have said that he's said suspicious things around them, and I wanted to approach you so that there wasn't any misinformation or miscommunication between us. Understood. That's all. That's that's why I'm here. Look. I appreciate you coming to me. Just so you're aware, Cicero is a consulting detective. You, however, are a uniformed, badged prot, which means you outrank him, even though you are but of we rank. So if he gets out of order, you have my permission to do whatever necessary to return him to order. It, it sounds, sir, like you're telling me that I should treat him like a convict, which is why I'm confused. Well, how else would you treat someone that is trying to incite difficulties between this group? <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Well, I just wanted to... Just wanted to ask, sir. And so you shall. What do you think we should do, officer? And he turns to Karis. I think we should proceed as we have been. 
And if you ask me, sir, an effective leader or an effective boss is supposed to bring their crew together. Logan isn't the only one inciting chaos and Cicero. division. Logan is great. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, Cicero. <laughs> wow. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Pat's Karis on the back. You okay, bud? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> it's Logan's turn. Rewinding a few seconds. Go on. <laughs> Cicero isn't the only one who's inciting chaos and division. Respectfully or not, you haven't exactly been, uh, say, a partner. Fine. Partners. He stands up and sort of brushes his coat off and he looks at the two of them. The incoming layoffs to the department affect you two as well. If you're not successful in this case, they will remove you from the force. L layoffs? Why? Politics, I assume. Really, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who. It's either you or somewhere else, but they have chosen you two. And so, I requested you come with me on this, so that in return, you would have your jobs. I am doing this for you. For us, with no personal stake in it. Oh, there's personal stake going to find facade and I'm going to drag that son of a bitch back to prison <laughs> this is the most truth we've had all case fine that clears up some things Lovely. I'm happy about it and I still shouldn't don't be happy. trust you none of us should be happy I'm gone. This is my last case. The two of you, this could be the start of your careers, but we can't screw this up. Then let's get one thing straight, Logan. We are working on even ground. This case is important to all three of us now, and I will not be kept in the dark. You have my word. Lovely. All right, I'm going to go get some more coffee. And he like leaves. He just like walks past Dash. <laughs> just to walks leave out the room. the lobby and goes into the. Uh, Except he doesn't go to the lobby. lobby. He goes straight to Cicero. Thanks. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh shit. Amazing. Uh, uh, I love all of the topsy turvy shit happening. Right now. <laughs> Dash, you're uh, still in the doorway. What do you? Uh, what do you do? <clears throat> um. I think since finding out that they might be laid off, Dash has had this really like far away look on his face. And um, when Logan leaves, he'll look up at Karis. I, I can't, I can't lose this job. You won't. She'll get up and she'll put a hand on his shoulder. You won't lose this job. We're going to do this job well, and you will be fine. You've done well in everything you've done thus far, Dash. Thanks. Um, thanks. I'm, uh, I'm gonna get some sleep. And you he'll, do. um, he'll sort of pat her on the arm since she, since she like put a hand on his arm and <laughs> like put a hand on hers like bros and then um bro <laughs> bro and then he'll leave <laughs> all right as you return back to your room logan you approach uh the door that cicero is staying in do you knock or try and open uh i wrap 
with my knuckles the same way I did originally on the cell long ago when they finally opened the door to his weird prison chambers. Uh, you hear cl- a muffled sound of classical music um, in the background. Cicero, uh, you can hear you can you can hear um, a, a light knocking at the door. Sorry, hello, more. It seems the door is jammed. I'm afraid you have to find somewhere else to stay tonight. The knocking gets louder. I said it's jammed, Hedibor. The knocking gets louder and off beat with the music playing, annoying Liso. <sighs> He's gonna get up. He's gonna turn off the music, walk straight to the door, push it aside and open angrily. I have no interest in... No. Good evening. May I come in? Of course. He opens the door and steps aside and kind of does a kind of a fake bow and then closes it behind him. Yeah. Uh, Logan walks in, puts the cup down on the table, and turns to you and does a. <clears throat> what do I have the pleasure? He lunges at your face. And, like, grabs you by the neck and collar. Ah, Pushes you against the wall. I press up against it. Did I do something to anger you, Logan? If you ever threaten my team or this case again, I will not kill you. I will drag you back to the hole that I found you in, and I will leave you there. I will remove every damned comfort you love and cherish. I will take that window, and I will leave you in the darkest place in the prison, and you will not see light for the rest of your stupid existence. (laughs) This is the Logan you need to be. This is the one that will kill Facade. I'm glad to see it. It is fair. I deserve that. Perhaps I was being a little... A little bit above my station with my words, and perhaps I'll be more careful with them. But I had no means to harm any of your team here. In fact, I wanted to see if that Hedible one was trustworthy. I wanted to make sure that this operation didn't end prematurely. See, I benefit from this as well, Logan. I am out of my cell. I am seeing clear air again. I don't look at the stars anymore. I look at the people. I have no means of jeopardizing your situation. In fact, I would kill if you asked me to, which I am not doubting that you wouldn't. I will behave according to any rule you give me. I do not seek that cell again. I'm glad you understand where I'm coming from because none of you mean anything to me, and I will do whatever it takes to see this through. Good. Good. He, like, taps you on the cheek, and he's like, wonderful. All right, glad we had this discussion. Picks up his coffee cup and just walks out. Yeah, you're going to see he's kind of smiling as you walk out, and as soon as he closes the door, he's going to fall back again, sit and, like, hold the collar, realizing just, like, how much is taken out of him. <sighs> Keep it together, Cicero. Keep it together. And I walk to the side of the room, just like adjusting it. God damn. All right. So I think at this point, everyone would at some point in time return to their rooms. Is that correct? Oh, hell the fuck no. I ain't going back there. <laughs> yeah, I assume Piper's staying with us. Dash, can I sleep with you tonight? I ain't going back there. Yeah, okay, depressed. Rolls over, sleeps. <laughs> We're sharing uh, the bed, dude. It's like old times. <laughs> if it's- There's like no room for you. I'm way too big. It's okay, Dash will I'm eventually tiny. just roll onto the floor and sleep. Cat at the foot of the bed. No, it's okay. <laughs> Rolled up. <laughs> On your feet, keeping your footsies warm. That's all and I imagine. Sleep over. Fan artists, go. Fan artists, go. 
<laughs> I'm yeah. average, dude. I'm average. Like they're gonna be too busy tiny. trying Logan and Cicero kissing. Yeah. I don't know if you saw chat, but yeah, they are, <laughs> they are. <laughs> Um, uh, what were you gonna say, Eli? If it's all the same to you, I'm gonna head to the market. Pick up a few things before tomorrow. Um. I should come with you. I sh shouldn't leave you on your own. I, I can stay at a distance if uh, if you're concerned, but... Does Dash look like a sad boy? Dash looks sad. <laughs> well, he, looks, he looks just like... Sort of like he's not really sure what to do with himself. <laughs> Telebor will pet Dash's arm. We can buy pies across the street. I saw a good oh, pie market. Yeah, wait, can I come with you? And you can do whatever you need to do and I'll buy food, like yeah, real we'll, food, we'll please? We'll buy pies across the street while you do your thing, man. Okay. Field trip, I guess. Yeah. Let's go. What, what kind of pie you want, man? I, all pies are good. Well, like what kind you want like cherry pie you want some pumpkin pie yeah i want both of those okay we gotta get mom to make you some pie remember you really liking her pie oh your mom's so cool dude <laughs> he like looks <laughs> emotional <laughs> oh big hugs <laughs> next time we go to kathos we'll stop by the mom. manor. <laughs> next time we go to kathos we'll stop by the manor man yeah i guess we go on a we go on a field trip all right so you guys leave the area to head over to the marketplace. Uh, as mentioned, it was middle afternoon, uh, probably turning to late afternoon, but the marketplace is still buzzing with activity. Uh, all sorts of stores, uh, including that of sundries, engineering, weapons and armor, and various cafes and bakers, Wiggles eyebrows. And uh, yeah, so what are you shopping for in the... Uh, here, what are you shopping for at the uh, at the marketplace? Uh, it occurs to me now that it, I don't actually have Tinker's tools, so I need those. Okay. Um, I also would like to buy some raw materials, so predominantly wood and a bit of just a shapeable alloy. Of some I got kind. you. Is there anything in particular that you're looking to build or make? Uh, yes. Preparing for. My, uh, my doll infusion. Ah, gotcha. So you're getting materials for your, uh, artificer ability specifically. Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, so you would easily be able to do that. And then heading over into the, into the engineering shop, um, you can go ahead and buy, uh, Tinker's tools. Oh, I wanted to ask, um, Hellebore, or actually Piper. Mm -hmm. When you bought the alchemy kit, the the shard the the shard alchemy kit, yeah. e, ev there um every alchemy kit is attuned to a specific stat. Which one did you buy? <laughs> int. All right, so you please an, int. Yeah, so you have an uh, an alchemy kit um that uh, that reacts only to uh that makes int checks and only int checks for if it's ever used. So sick. That's the one that we would use. And for your Tinker's tools, let me, uh, whoop. All right, so the Tinker's tools, uh, once you go over to the, the engineer's shop, and it is, it, it literally is just like uh, trinkets and baubles and all sorts of stuff just hanging around, uh, clocks, various automations, very high prices uh, all around. Um, but the Tinker's tools itself um, would be, uh, on sale for 50 credits. For 50, you said? 50. This would also include all the other miscellaneous materials you need for your artificer upgrades. Sounds perfect. All right. And what uh, stat would you like to associate your Tinker's tools with? Int. All right, so you get- My boy. Yeah, my boy. You get an intelligence, uh, intelligent uh, tinker tools, especially, essentially. Uh, Piper would also uh, get Eli's attention, like, hey, you're loaded now, right? <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. 
Can you spot me some money for some herbs so I can make the group some health potions? Yeah, that's smart. How much do you need? How much would I get like uh, like three or four health potions worth of herbs would be? Uh, that would be a hundred credits. Okay, let's let's go with like two then. Okay. Oh, that'll be fifty credits. Fifty? Or two? Yes. Say that to you like fifty for two. If you don't want to do that, it's fine. It's okay. We don't need them. Need them. Eli will uh, he'll think on it, and then I'll hand over the money. I go and buy hard meth. <laughs> I'm, you, I'm kidding. I go. I go buy. What? I go buy two health health potions worth of herbs. <laughs> you, you you see where none of us flinched and assumed that that was a possibility, right? I was like, yeah, that tracks. Yeah. <laughs> we all went. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh. All right. Give me one second. All right, add on MC. Meth is just a personality trait, guys. All right, intelligent, intelligent alchemy kit. All right, what, what's intelligent? Intelligent. Or is it called tool? Give me. <clears throat> I think it's called alchemist kit. Oh, alchemist supplies. There it is. I was like, what the fuck? Anyways. All right. So since you are, are you attempting to make these potions as well? Uh, probably, yeah, later that night, like back in the room, if I'm just chilling with the boys before bed, I try to make them. Piper's right. the only one making him. Hellebore's not allowed to touch. So I got some good news and I got some bad news. Yeah. The good news is you're free to start making these potions now. At level two, you can take the, um, the essentially the material you know of the potion and attempt to make it. The bad news is because you're not level three and a full-fledged alchemist yet, you'll have to make a check to see if you uh, make the potion. Yeah, you, I'll make one and if it ends up bad, he'll just save the if other you, one. If you succeed, you make the potion of healing. Congratulations. If you fail, uh, it uses up the material. Yeah, we'll, we'll start with one. Okay. But once you're level three, um, if you manage to get herbs and stuff like that, uh, because your profession will be alchemist, you won't need to make the check. You'll just turn it into healing potions, so you're good to go there. Sick. All right. Uh, give me one second, please. By the way, uh, very good RP, guys. Actual fucking... I'm, I am unsettled but like in a good way. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't. You disturbed me, but the good <laughs> It does, it does, it does. Chat, what did you think? Wow. They're just, they're just aroused, but like, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was the whole point. <laughs> oh God. Uh, let me, uh, I'm gonna intel it. Let's see. All right, intelligent alchemist flies. Okay, so you're spending uh, 50 credits on two herbs. Is that correct? Yes. All right, Thank so you, Eli. so all of Eli's fortune is now back to zero. Yeah. Okay, no, okay. You're already a better dad than my dad. Oh. Oh, and that's why we're not going to see my dad. All right, Eli, you still have a wealth level of, I said four. Yes, I said four, cool. Okay, so uh, the credits that were on on hand, you're back down to 20 credits. Um, fortunately, you're still able to call in some favors if you do want to purchase some more things um, within your wealth level and you would be honky-dory. <clears throat> uh, Hellebore, you've received two herbs. And yes. Pi... And uh, um, Dash, what yep. are you doing? What are you buying? Oh, everything. 
pie? Um, if if there's a if there is a bakery, yep. yeah, he would go in. He would get a couple pieces of pie. He'd get um, you know, like a fruit tart. He'd get he'd get danishes. He'd get a little bit of everything. He wants to eat his Felix pretty badly. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and the so, whole t the whole time he would be like chatting up the baker, like telling them how incredible they are at their job. You know, just dash <laughs> things. But, just, but just... he would buy a bunch of food. Yeah. Okay. Well, because of your <clears throat> uh, because of your bank accounts as a prot, uh, you easily do so. Are you just buying out the bakery? No, I'm not buying out the bakery. But he would he would like. He, he'd buy a couple pies. pieces of pie and then like maybe maybe three different uh, other things. Okay. And so he. Yeah, I'll say another, he, another another three credits have been deducted. So, mm -hmm. um, but but you managed to get like a lot of yeah. You just get yourself some some very filling pies and uh, yeah various treats. I, little little bit this world's version of baklava here at the uh, region of Southern Ishtar. He would definitely walk out just for that that classic cop vibe. He would mm -hmm. walk out with a donut hanging out of his mouth. Uh, would you uh, also get a a uh, uh, a beer thrown tart? A beer thrown tart, sure. Yep. It's said to be one of uh, Alice's favorite desserts. Really? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Made of pomegranate. At least that's what the baker says. Oh my god, you still have that sweet tooth, don't you? It's good. Do you want some? What is that? Is that a tart? Yeah. It's sure, the sourest yeah. thing you've ever had. Oh god. What the hell is this? Makes your face pucker. Oh god. I don't know, but it looks like it does not taste good. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll keep <laughs> eating it because you bought it, bud, but whatever the hell is this, don't buy it again. <laughs> so as you guys enjoy the baked goods, I'm assuming you'll be here for the next uh, couple of, you know, next uh, couple hours or so, just kind of like relaxing outside. Oh, I mean, he would have gotten everything in like a to go like a big baggie. So gotcha. he would be prepped to bring it back to the room so that we could replace all of the all of the, sh the shitty like yeah. front desk food with actual like yums. OK. <clears throat> uh, all right. As you go and purchase and finish everything that you do there. Oh, if we went to a 7-Eleven, I pointed out the cut out of my dad and been like, look at him, he's still an ass. I mean, you, like, I don't know, Piper, he wasn't that bad. He was, again, it's the thing, you didn't have to live with him. Yeah, that's fair. You know what he did after all this happened? He gestures to himself. Um, No. Well, you know how the family, like, we know a little bit of, like, memory magic and stuff like that. Mom and L Mom and Lil were like, hey, should we make him forget it so, you know, he doesn't have to remember himself dying? Dad, Dad, Dad had the audacity to say, no, let him remember it. It's a good learning experience. Like, who the fuck does that? D Dash scrunches up his face. Who like, the fuck does that? Yeah. Dads. Are the Dads. <clears throat> well, hopefully we won't be around here for too long. Okay. Uh, you guys, uh, as the sun goes down, we'll return back to the inn, consuming all of the baked goods. Yeah. Over. Mm-hmm. Are you so all three of you are just going to be sleeping? And then in the we same do the room? cat at the end of the bed vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, <laughs> I'll be the cat at the end of the bed. It's fine. I'm tiny. <laughs> we put on like a horror movie. We make it real, like sleepover vibes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eli will work through the night if he has to to whittle that material and make that thing. I'll okay. also be up doing the one potion. All right, let's uh, give me a uh, alchemist kit. Give me a tool check 
with your your alchemy tools. It oh, should be right. added Where? to your character sheet. Oh great! Let me open that up. Do, do, may, do. Let me also equip it. I have now equipped it. Okay. I will look again. If you go mouse over to your inventory, you'll actually see intelligent uh, alchemist supplies. Oh, I see it. I click it. I click use alchemist supplies. Oh, no. No. <laughs> uh, as you work the herbs with your alchemist kit, uh, you all of you, while in the dead of night, hear a, a small explosion from the kit as a spark and flame lights up on the kit on the tools <laughs> dash jumps straight to his feet what happened what what happened i blew up again a horrible smell fills the room <clears throat> burnt herb <laughs> dash opens all the, the windows window. <laughs> yeah dash opens the windows for sure <laughs> Dash um, picks up the concoction and chucks it out the window and then goes, oh, I, that was toxic I feel ba- waste. Did you just throw I that feel bad. The yeah, I'm going <laughs> to leave I didn't throw it away properly. Oh, my God. <laughs> I saved the other one until I get used to the tools again. That's funny. No, that was fitting. Critical miss, yeah, the critical miss. It's okay. I took, I took the, I took the, the loss, so Snake can roll the the big win. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Snake doesn't have to roll anything. It's literally part of his class. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I just talk. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll. Uh, do a little little luck roll for you. All right, you're all right. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Needless to say, this, uh, the smell stays in the room all night. I'll save. I made press digitation to make the room smell better. It's, I'll save uh, the other herb until I get used to the tools again. It's heavily masked. Oh, God. All right. You guys go to sleep. Long rest complete. Sun breaks through, Jotun. Today is the day mm. that you will meet with Lou of the uh, Lamento family. If there is anything you'd like to do today, I'm afraid we'll have to find out next time, as this will be the end of today's session of Deadbeats, because uh, we are approaching time, and wowie wow, look at that, yeah, look at that, uh, Some that was some uh, good RP, so thank you guys for that very much. Today will be the, uh, like I said before, to, uh, uh, next session. Uh, we'll see what you guys do during the day, but you will be meeting uh, with the head of the Lamento family. Hopefully, take this underway. Uh, but yeah, that was a uh, good session, guys. Thank you so much for for playing today. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for running. Real good, uh, real good RP. Like I said, it was freaking intense, man. It was really intense. Uh, let's do some fan art. Fan art, fan art, fan art, fan art, fan art. Chat, I could tell. Chat, loved it. Did you guys, you guys have fun? You guys enjoy yourself today? Absolutely. Yeah. Is that yeah. you talking to chat or us? I'm talking to you guys. I know chat liked it. They were, they were wilding. I mean, it was all right. It was like fine. I, 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 I understand. I understand. <laughs> really, I'm okay. Uh, Je- Jesse, Jesse's gonna always push himself to make sure that next week is better and better every week. Never satisfied. I, I admire we can, your. We can, we can do better. We can I do admire. Better. I admire your dedication yeah. to your craft, Jesse. Like if I take us towards ERP, that's fine, right? No, uh, no, uh, that's uh, not <laughs> fine. And you know if what? I push us in that direction, slowly push us. I, in that I, direction. Like, no, I'm gonna. I, what if it's I, natural? What if it's like a natural thing where like it we uh, we get there well, eventually? Ob- obviously, it's not natural now because you've you've declared it. You've declared right. Chat, I, didn't, I didn't declare. I didn't declare anything, did I, Chat? Don't Come ask. Don't, 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 ask chat. don't ask. Don't ask. Don't ask. Chat. Don't oh, ask. No. How, chat. Do we, how do we end up <laughs> naked? What? Oh no! These are hot springs. Oh, We're no. doing a meeting at a hot springs. 
Oh, Hot yeah. My little, tiny, my little tiny towel fell Beach off. Beach episode. Oh, my God. Lou wants to meet you all in the hot room. The nice little steam room while you're talking. Oh, no. What? Uh, I'm, I'm going to use the, the restroom one more time, and then we'll do some fan art. Sound good? Just dudes being bros being dudes. Just Don't dudes, worry about it. Dudes being bros being dudes. Uh, you guys mind if I leave you on mute while I use the bathroom so you can entertain chat? Sure. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Shoves you in a room with chat. It's. Oh, this is him. a mistake. Look after him. This is where we get you're, to gossip. Uh, you're free to advertise your prime subs at, at memory of Crendor. You're, you're any free primers? To, yeah, any primers? In memory of Crendor. In memory rip. of Crendor. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking dead. <laughs> Skagzag is in the sky now. Oh, Skagzag. Anyways, I'll be God, people want so badly for Skagzag to be like the most important god of Io. No, he's not even a god. He's not. I know. God Everyone people mentions like, it god. all the time. And I was like, no, he's he's not a god. <laughs> he, <laughs> oh my he god. Had, his powers <laughs> included rolling poorly, summoning fog, and turning his face into feathers. That was it. That's all he did for like eighty episodes. Nothing else. Ha oh. That's that's a lie. He choked a baby. Never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck. Jesus. If you if you know, it, there was one episode where we had to fight like, you know, one of the Cosma gods and uh it was a little baby in like a tube. And we were like, "Well, how do we get in the tube? There's a shield around it." And Crendor was like, "I have teleport." And so he teleported in the tube risking drowning and then we're like, "How are you going to fight the baby?" And he's like, can I strangle the baby? And everyone was like, what? <laughs> and so he did. And we killed a god that way. And so, yeah, you're welcome, Io. Wow. You're welcome. We saved We saved everyone. Don't ask how the sausage gets made. We saved the world. <laughs> Don't ask how the sausage gets made. Ask how the sausage tastes. Dude, all and it my, was delicious. All the Io campaigns are wild. I ate a rock in one. I had a genie ask if he wanted to officiate my wedding in one of them. <laughs> uh, I played in a, a literal eel lady. I'm it back. It's just wild, dude. Oh, hey. Welcome back. Um, thank you. Let's let's view some fan art. Yeah. 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 Check this out. Crit punch from Karis, yo. Whoa. Nice. Pa Pounch. Oh, boy. I'm already scrolling through all this going, uh-oh. Um, so apparently we have... Yeah, we have a rogue. Uh, there, uh, the uh, Every party uh, of the three campaigns in the Ioverse, or we have one rogue. Uh, we've got uh, nice. Jess, uh, Jesse, uh, Shane's character, and uh, Laura's character, all playing, all playing rogues. Neat. Then, all look like stand-up people with not and, a problem in sight. <laughs> and, then <we> got, <laughs> and then we got our big uh, punchy people, um, our barbarians and monks, and I, ladies. and I think uh, Karis, I guess, is a uh, is a is an honorary barbarian. <laughs> Big buff. It's the big, big buff ladies of every party. The big buff ladies. There you go. Let's take a, a look at this. Yo, um, from Dark Ooh, Crystal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. It's that. coming to get like. Pie, baby. Yeah. Is this is this is more was added from last time, correct? Yeah, uh, yes. yeah, yeah. Before it was just you. Yeah. And now it's both of us. All right, well, it's worse than it was before, but I still wow. like the me part. Oh. Wow. The me part looks great. It's that other character. Have I not that... cried enough this session? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you bullying, Dad? Why bully? <laughs> when I'm in character, I can't get out, okay? I can't get out. <laughs> I am Logan. I am Logan. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, we've got uh, Dead Beats I I iconized. I iconized. Iconized. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, these are so cool. Hi, name a more iconic duo. <laughs> <laughs> got I, love I don't know why that made me laugh. <laughs> My hand. Of course, Karis is uh, so good. Yes, big <laughs> boss. <Yes>. So good. <laughs> 
What's your favorite thing? These kisses arm. <laughs> oh, my cover. So Ooh, spooky. Them hannies. Oh, I kind of cool. like that as like a. I wish I almost made that my form when no face is so creepy. Yeah. Ooh, no face is really good. Like uh, the lady in that. Uh, but if no face, then house. how bite? How, how bite? Smooch. Uh, yep, totally inconspicuous. Bite. Not bored at oh. all. Nuh uh. <laughs> how I feel every day. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Dash, what do you do? I fly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guess that's the only response we need. I needed. did. I did what I said I would. <laughs> I said as little as possible. <laughs> I flexed. I flexed. Yes, you did. Let's see. Dying isn't so bad, you know. Yeah. Mm. Well, what a problem. It's creature. Probably not as bad as the first time. <laughs> Uh, the, the mm. good boys expand. Oh, oh, oh. oh Paris is a little pity. Oh, my oh, God. So oh, that's oh. perfect. <laughs> Paris Pit. Oh. We're, we're all so borders good. now. My heart. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's my reaction to the last picture. Yep. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Uh, allow me to. We got an animation oh. here. What? Mm. What? Specifically labeled. Let me see. Cicero's transformation. Oh, oh shit! Oh, that's so cool. Oh that's fuck! That's, that's cool. Sick. Wait a minute. I don't think he's a consulting detective. <laughs> I would have loved to. I would have cut when you were going. No, no, no. He's a, he's a detective, and it cuts to his room. He's just like drinking, draining someone in that form. <laughs> I, I love consulting. Um, let's see. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> no hair found. <laughs> <laughs> so I need your old man. See, that's the one you should be worried about. Hellebore's the little freak. Okay, they're going to steal all your, your just pillows. Just a little freak, dude. What's up? I'm, I'm collecting DNA. everyone's hair. What's your issue? That freaked me out more. <laughs> Eli, you might get killed. <laughs> it's located. <laughs> Guess I'll <laughs> die. <laughs> uh, yo. Uh, a little fan art for me. Thank you, Judge. Uh, Thank you. Uh, they are deciding to learn to draw. This is my first attempt in many years. I did using a pen. Need to work on proportions, though. They felt a little off. This is better than. No, it's very and, good. And, yeah, this is better than anything I would draw. So, yeah, very good. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my God. How do you. <laughs> Nay Marino just said, How do you draw a tiny version of someone when they're already tiny? No. Oh, he's not. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shake's fist at Sky. I'm oh, my average. Gosh. I love that face, I wanna... though. <laughs> I want to see a size comparison between this one and Karis. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Small. Me, that's, too. That's so good. That's so good. This, this is like a world of pyre. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Did you ever get that back or is that thing still in my pocket? I assume that I took it back. I don't think you're okay. sleeping with my hand in, on your I mean, ass, dude. Uh, uh, Are you sleeping with my hand on your ass? Because you shouldn't. Uh, no, that's my hand, dude. Don't talk to me or my detective consultant ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Pro proceeds to choke him. Yeah, Angie, <laughs> Angie Logan. Whoa! I love his, his his cheeks. Yeah, such strong cheeks. Followed by sad dash. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my gosh. laughs> oh no. Your boy. Now wait Baby. a minute. Now wait a minute. Oh, I don't no. remember oh, the scene yeah. that way. Just, 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 Let's go! My favorite part about this is the fan art channel all screaming at the same time after this picture is posted. Let's go! Yes! Delivery of the goods! Yeah! Like everyone's like cheering immediately. Let's go! Let's fucking go! <laughs> it's 
it's it's begun oh my god it's begun uh yeah so that was it thank you guys so much for playing and uh yeah next session session six will will continue on we are i must admit um like i we uh sessions like it's uh there's been so much you guys have been doing so much rp that the sessions keep extending and extending this is all still like session four like session three session four stuff and we're about to approach session six uh not complaining the the rp is amazing you guys have done uh, a terrific job so you, you you've been you guys have been bringing the goods so thank you guys so much for for everything Wait, isn't this isn't this just a, it was this was our fourth session wasn't it this is our fifth session we just finished our oh fifth God. session <laughs> no, I'm lost, yeah. yeah 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 same it's 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 yeah it's just you get there's been a lot of rp which has been very cool um and it's just cool just seeing everyone continue to evolve this is this the motel of emotions i'm gonna call it <laughs> <'Cause, you> know, <laughs> all the good shit keeps happening in these motels so um all right well so guys thank you so much and uh i'll see y'all next week okay yeah. okay okay Have bye thank you bye, bye. bye.